Can we use relative size estimation at a feature level? How to understand the overall size of an epic without having uh, driving through a size of a user story? See, we should understand the estimation and the goal of estimation is different at different point in time, which means when you are doing estimation at large initiative level and the goal is to understand, does it really make business sense to work on it? When you are doing estimation at a user or backlog refinement level, you are trying to figure it out how many months or how many weeks this piece of work can take. Yeah, there is a collection of items. This, this set of things can take how many months. That's the, the whole idea. And when you are working on a given iteration, you want to figure it out. What can we predictably deliver in next two weeks time? So the accuracy of estimate will also be different. So you can say when I'm estimating the item at a big space, I might go 50% wrong. But the idea here is at that point in time, that information is helping me to figuring out is it a right thing to do or not. That much is thing, and I will evolve it. I will improve it as I go along. This was is a concept in our traditional project management also, because many times, irrespective of the type of life cycle we pick, in the beginning itself, we need to have some understanding of what would be the cost and what would be the time. Yeah, especially if you are working in a project environment. And in a project space, we always talk about where you need to have a rough order of magnitude estimation. And gradually, we, we talk about the one, the only thing which is right about estimation is it has to be estimated again and again, irrespective of project life cycle, be it predictive, be it agile, be it hybrid. Estimation means you estimate all the time, multiple times at least. In the predictive world, we, we say, each phase end, you should be re-estimating. In an adaptive world, we can say the backlog refinement is a continuous estimation of the back, product backlog, and you estimate to find out what can I do in a given iteration. So with this context, we should approach the estimation. Now, there could be an organizational challenges and interpretation challenges, but this is how the overall approach of estimation is designed. Now, when you are estimating at a big level, say epic level, project initiative level, you might make some understanding of what all will go in, into it, say a set of features or some references. And based on the judgment of individuals who are available at that point in time, uh, because a lot of people who will come and develop it may not be even identified uh, at that point in time. So whoever is available, they will make their judgment based on whatever historical data they have. So they may have a set of different large initiative to compare to, or they may divide that initiative epic into features and they compare those features into the existing historical data. But depending upon which framework you are using, you may use terminologies. But idea here is that is done based on historical data comparison. You can call it analogous estimate and you compare with something. Yeah, you compare there and then you, you come up with it. Yeah. And you also put it that, okay, there could be a variability attached to it. Now, how much variability? It also depends upon how well that particular initiative is understood. If you are getting into a very unknown territory, your error could be more than 500%. If you are getting into a known territory, if your customer persona is known, your platform is known, and you just need to get into that particular space, your estimation error at a large initiative to real uh, detailed estimate later on comes in or late, a real one comes in, maybe 50%. Yeah. So it depends, and, and as a stakeholder, what we need to do is make our best guess, whatever information is available at that point in time, and focusing on the utility of it. Now, if we specifically talk about scaled agile, they use, in order to estimate the epics, they talk about that we can roughly identify the set of features, and we can take relative estimation from existing identified, estimated, executed features, to come up with the feature level numbers, and then we can put a, a sum total at a, at an epic level and says this is probably the size of that particular epic. Or you can do a t-shirt sizing also where you do direct comparison at an epic level based on some of the epics which are ongoing, the set of features they have, and the new epic which you are bringing in, and you can do a direct t-shirt sizing estimation as well, which will be good enough for doing your investment decision and doing a relative ranking. Uh, and later on, we keep revisiting and keeping both the information visible that okay initially this initiative was this much now it is this much and 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 this is what we want to do next yeah because always especially in the agile world we keep reminding let's not make decision based on your past decisions 
make the decision based on whatever information you have and what you see in future coming in and based on we decide what should we do about it yeah